and now they're coming back to the back. Oh boy. Hey, look, here's fire. Let's pour some water on it. This is really aggravating. I tell you, that pisses me off. That does suck right there. That's, that's ignorant. That's one of the most ignorant things I've ever seen. While it may not have been a good execution, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say it's the most ignorant thing I've ever seen. I'll explain. I think Dave did more work with the water hose in the beginning. We, had, we had it cooled down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. You know, we got the hell out of the way when they got here and they just stand out front, watch the damn thing corner. Now you listen to a guy like that and it's easy to understand why he's so frustrated in saying the things he is. It's not necessarily the firefighters tactics that he's complaining about while he is doing that. He's probably more upset about their lack of urgency. Listen, if you watch other departments like San Bernardino, Albuquerque, Tulsa, and a lot of the other really good ones out there, when they show up on scene, they're decisive. They're moving quickly, they're moving with purpose, and they already know their job. It seems like whenever you watch fire departments like this, their lack of movement or purpose or motivation isn't necessarily because they don't care, it's because they're not quite sure what to do. And that starts at the top. That starts with good leadership and knowing your job. Now here, you hear him complaining about the fact that the fire was in the back and they went around the front. That's not necessarily a bad tactic. There's an idea in the fire service that water can push fire. And I think that's a little bit misleading, but we'll talk about that more here in a minute. But what I think their original tactic was is to go through the front door of the house to work their way through the unburned area to attack the burned areas in the back of the house. Now, I'd love to hear what you think, how you would have approached it, what you think might have been a better way to do it, but I don't think that's necessarily in and of itself a bad way to approach a fire. I think there's better ways to do it, but let's talk about that now. But before we even do that, let's just see how we got here. So in the original video, which I'll put a link to in the description below, I believe it was titled Dave and his guys try to save Pauline's house. Now I have to give props to Dave and his guys, which I'm assuming are these guys on this hand line here, for doing what they did. Now a lot of people in the comments were jumping on them saying they shouldn't have done what they did, they made everything worse, but I disagree. Given the lack of resources and training that these guys had, I think they did a great job knocking down the bulk of the fire. Now you heard me say earlier that there's this term out there that water can push fire. I think that's slightly misleading. In my opinion and in my experience, I believe that water, if you're using the wrong type of hose stream, can push heat, but it can't necessarily push fire. Now I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people that jump on me in the comments and say I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think what these guys did was the right strategy for this fire, which is to extinguish the burning material as quickly as you can. It cools things down and makes everything better. Now, yes, if you can attack a fire from the unburned side first, or if there's an easier way for you to access the fire, absolutely you should take it. But blaming these guys who are doing the best they can that can protect their friends and neighbors home before the fire department shows up is really kind of unfair. But let's break this down and look at what may have been a good strategy to attack this fire. I agree. I think Dave did more work with the water hose in the beginning. We had, we had it cooled down. Yeah, 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 really. You know, we got the hell out of the way when they got here and they just stand out front, watch the damn thing corner. Now 
now the smoker one goes off. Oh, well, look at here. First, it's important to mention that while we do have one camera angle here and we can kind of see what's going on, it's impossible from just watching a video to know everything that's happening on scene, which is why it's so important to have a good, competent officer do a 360 at every fire. I believe I've done some other videos on this. Albuquerque and San Bernardino come to mind. I'll link them in the description below if you want to see the elements of a great 360 done by a good officer. Next, from this camera angle here, it looks like there are at least four firefighters and the bulk of the fire is in the back of the house. These four firefighters, from what we can tell right here, only have one hand line pulled. A good strategy may be to have two of those firefighters pull one hand line and go straight around the back to begin extinguishing the bulk of the fire, kind of like Dave and the guys did earlier, to start knocking that fire down. That's the burning material. The faster you get water on that burning material, especially when it's this involved, the better everything's going to be. Next, the other two firefighters should be pulling a line to the front door. While that first line is in the back, knocking down the bulk of the fire, those other two should be getting ready, and when the command is given, by the officer, then they should enter the structure and begin putting out the fire and cleaning up what they can. And then finally, they're probably going to have to do a lot of cleanup. It looks like this fire worked its way into the attic. They're probably going to be there for a while doing a lot of work on the interior. But you let me know, how would you or your department handle this fire given what we know?